Crafting a coherent and effective introduction is paramount. This article delves into the four pivotal elements that must be incorporated into the introduction paragraph of the OET writing task, specifically in the context of a referral or informational letter. First one, patient's full name. The introduction should unmistakably identify the patient in question. Including the full name ensures there is no ambiguity about the subject of the letter. Second one, the requirements or reason for the letter. This is where the purpose of the letter is clarified. Are you referring the patient for specialist consultation? Is it a request for a specific intervention or assessment? Or perhaps you are providing an update on the patient's condition to another healthcare provider. Clearly stating the reason ensures the recipient knows exactly what is expected or why they are receiving the letter. The current health status of the patient. Before diving into the detailed medical history or the chronological account of treatments, it's essential to provide a snapshot of the patient's current health. This gives the reader a context about the urgency, severity and nature of the patient's condition. Fourth one, details about the discharge of the patient. If the patient is about to be discharged or is discharged from your care or a facility, this information should be provided upfront. This serves as a bridge connecting the patient's recent medical encounters to the purpose of the letter. A good start to your OET writing makes everything clearer. By including these four points, your letter will be easy to understand which is very helpful in healthcare. Until next time, keep learning.